Hi wine friends and happy wine Wednesday. If you are new, I'm Allie from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. Well, with the start of September, it is also the start of school. And so I'm sure just like uh, me, you have been flooded with back to school pictures and all kinds of excitement on Facebook. And so when I saw this wine, it just made me think oh, it is the perfect wine to share in back to school season. So today I am going to open the 2017 Napa Valley Educated Guest Cabernet Sauvignon and check out that fun label. Um, and so even though the wine isn't, this wine isn't actually about going back to school. It's more about the idea of, um, you never really know what it is you're going to get in a bottle of wine, but, um, you have a sense of what goes into it and who the winemakers are and where they're being grown. And so they hope that, um, with this bottle that they are taking some of the guesswork out and that you can buy it uh, and make an educated guess that you're going to enjoy it. So the wine comes from Run Deep Winery and they actually have a number of education related wines which I discovered when I was doing research for this and I thought that was really fun. So I've never actually heard of them before but their whole idea is that they are trying to create wines that remind you of the 50 to $100 wines, but at a fraction of the price, which I think sounds great. I definitely much rather spend the uh, $18 that I spent on this than to spend 50 or $100 on a bottle of wine. Uh, now, I did, like I said, buy it for $18. They have a suggested retail price of 25. It was on sale uh, in Whole Foods when we went grocery shopping. So it is, um, it is a little less expensive than it usually is there. And this wine is actually a blend, even though it, it, it's being um, called a Cabernet. 86% um, Cabernet Sauvignon, 7% Petit Verdot, 5% Merlot, and then 2% uh, Cabernet Franc. So it's a good Bordeaux blend. I'm gonna take a look at this color. It is a deep, deep, inky purple. So take a look at that color. Um, all right, let's go in for a sniff. Whew. All right, um, I wonder if maybe I should have aerated it. Um, this probably is a wine that is going to do a little better once it's had a chance to open up so maybe um maybe something that should be decanted and the only reason why i say this i'm getting a lot of alcohol just right straight up front and it's it's feeling a little tight to to start with getting lots of blackberries and black cherries on the nose also getting a lot of baking spices some nutmeg some cloves I'm also getting a little bit of um, of eucalyptus on there. There is so much going on in this wine. Holy cow. I'd also say there's some milk chocolate uh, happening. All right, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Whew. Okay. Lots of alcohol. Definitely a wine I want to decan for a little bit or send it through an aerator before I have a chance to drink it. Um, lots of dark plums, lots of blackberries, lots of black cherries. It is like a full dark fruit explosion. Mixed in behind that, still getting some of those chocolate notes um, on the milk chocolate side, kind of creaminess, um, some vanilla. Feeling lots of gum pull, um, so definitely some good tannins. I would say it's more in the medium body range. It's the alcohol that's kind of hitting me a little hard at the moment, though. I'd, I would like to tamp that down a little bit. It's really good. The tannins though, definitely building up. I feel them kind of 
clinging my, to my teeth. So if you don't like tannins, it's probably not going to be a wine for you. Medium to full body, I think I initially said medium body, but definitely more on the medium to full body side. Tannins are just kind of clinging to me, which, uh, which I enjoy. I definitely like uh, a wine that I'm gonna sink into a little more. This is definitely one of those. I went to grab my soiree because this wine really could use a little bit of aeration. And if you haven't uh, seen me talk about the soiree before, I will link the video down below where I do a review and talk about it a little more. Let's uh, take a little bit, get to see it. Maybe put some more air into that wine right there. All right. Oh yeah, that is definitely better. I, I, I think this is a wine that really benefits from some aeration. If you have a decanter, do that. If you have an aerator, definitely do that. Oh, so much better. So much better. It's like drinking a totally different wine. Um, I'm still getting all of those dark fruit flavors, but aerating it really brought out those milk chocolate notes. That's, wow. A little more vanilla, definitely a lot more of the baking spices. It has sent that minty eucalyptus note even further back into the background. Mm. So I gotta be honest, $18, this is fantastic. I, I'm not sure that I see it competing with some of those 50 to $100 Napa cabs, but at $18, this is an amazing quality price ratio. It is something I would love to enjoy with a cheeseburger, with bacon and this, that would be fantastic. A great steak would go really nicely. Um, honestly, even if you're gonna do like just a dinner of uh, baked, loaded baked potatoes, I think that would go really well with this as well. It's a wine that I can see myself curling up with through the fall, kind of sitting outside as it gets colder and putting on a warmer sweater all the way into the winter. Uh, cuddled up with an afghan and my book and and a fire in the fireplace I, this just this just screams curl up and enjoy kind of wine it's absolutely food friendly and i think that enjoying it with some food would be really really good but i also think it's a wine that can be enjoyed sipping and sitting on the couch and just relaxing for the evening uh, I am a fan. Definitely a good back to school, back into fall, get into the swing of things kind of wine. I've said, and it's a great quality price ratio. Can't beat it. I would love to know what has your back to school wine been? Have you, uh, have you been enjoying or opening anything in particular to uh, celebrate the return of fall and the return of school? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking on the icon right here or on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on that bell because it will notify you when I upload a new video, which is gonna be on Free Wine Wednesday. And if you're looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining me and have a happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.